Pharmacy department is here to serve. We serve the physician, we serve the nurse, and we serve the patient. I think it goes under-recognized that we are there just to dispense medications, but we really are to serve all of those around us. The pharmacy is just truly interwoven into every department of the hospital, and patient safety is always at our top end of our minds. Pharmacy does a lot behind the scenes that I don't think people realize. They actually guarantee that the right medication is given to the right patient, the right dose. As a pharmacist, we know there's about 1.5 million drug misadventures throughout the United States. And we know that about 200,000 people can actually die from the use of medications. We have double checks in place, triple checks in place. The technicians are checking the pharmacists who are checking the technicians who are checking the pharmacists. We have five hours as a nurse to give medications, but pharmacy starts that whole process off for us. We service the emergency department, the surgery department, the inpatient, uh, med surge, ICU, and we also do employee prescriptions. So we have a very wide range of tasks every day. A main focus is patient safety, reviewing physician order entry, reviewing orders, reviewing prescriptions, as they taught us in pharmacy school, get the right med to the right patient at the right time. That's our ultimate goal. We review every medication order, trying to eliminate any potential errors. We look for allergies, drug intolerances, interactions, overuse of medications, underuse of medications, and we look to see if there's disease state processes, such as kidney disease or liver disease that will change how a drug works in the body and make sure we prevent one of those misadventures. It's a lots of double checks. There's just a lot of verification process and double checking that, makes, that goes on um, in that process. We need something now. They work with us very fast to give us our medications. We also have patients that are on immunotherapy and targeted agents, and you never know when those patients can have a reaction. Medication reconciliation is part of a process that's been increasing in healthcare to provide patient safety where we check the patient coming into the hospital, through the hospital stay, and leaving the hospital to make sure that they're getting the right medication. Every day, Monday through Friday, we do a huddle group, which uh, involves dietitians, social workers, nurses, pharmacists. Go through um, not just what medications they're on, but go through what's happening, what's going on big picture. If there is an issue of safety or a question about medicine, we can kind of interact at that point. We have a student right now that is been lots of different places and getting ready to graduate. I've done numerous rotations at other hospitals that are much bigger, uh, have, have a lot more capability in terms of the diversifications of things they can offer. When you get down to at an individual patient level, the patient care here um, is superior to that. It's nice to know who you need to go to talk to when you have an issue. One of my main um, jobs is looking at Quantrus reports. These are the safety reports we get from any kind of event reporting in the hospital. We look at these reports and try to navigate our way through a new workflow if we need to, or operationally if something needs to change within the department, within a nursing unit. And that helps a lot with patient safety as well, trying to make sure that prescribers know what to pick, nurses know what to give, and then the patients will receive the right medication. One of our big initiatives was to increase adverse drug reaction reporting. So we did a big push with our nursing staff. We did a lots of education on how to report them, what is an adverse drug reaction, and, and what to do when you see one. For instance, we had a study we did, and we looked at a drug and a specific antibiotic that was happening continuously when we infused it at a certain rate. And once we had the actual reporting from the nursing staff, we realized that if we just increased the infusion time, this would not happen to patients. So we were able to present this data at a few different conferences, and, and um, it was received very well from a patient safety standpoint. As a pharmacist for many years, I'm not only proud of my profession because what it delivers to the community, uh, we strive to, to take the time to talk to our patients, to educate them about the medications they use. They have a huge job, and I think that they're really very good at when you do call them with a question or a problem. They really make you feel like your call is most important to them. That it's just not a matter of just dispensing a medication, whether it be inpatient, outpatient. There's a lot of thought that goes into each process. I really appreciate that communication that we have with them, and it's very important to be able to have that communication. Because if you don't, you can literally give the wrong medication to a patient. Everybody has the same mindset that 
okay, we need to check this again. Is that right? I'm not afraid to ask questions. And everybody will work together for the same mission, and that's patient safety. My name is Sandy Markle, and I'm United for Patient Safety. My name is Charlene Weekman, and I am United for Patient Safety. My name is John Keeley, and I am United for Patient Safety. My name is Lisa Ramirez, and I am United for Patient Safety. My name is Jeff Sessler, and I am United for Patient Safety. My name is Patricia Kucher, and I am United for Patient Safety. My name is Nate Gonring, and I am United for Patient Safety. My name is Beth McGuire, and I am United for Patient Safety. My name is Christy Malakis, and I am United for Patient Safety. We, we are Magruder Hospital, Hospital Pharmacy, and, and we, we are United, United for Patient, patient Safety. safety.